What you see playing behind me is a team, a team of police officers harassing a street preacher on the grounds that what he's saying might cause alarm and distress. Where's the church in all of this? I'm Granny Opteryx. So this is the article. London police threaten to arrest more Christian street preachers, it says here. In what has seemingly become a normal occurrence in the United Kingdom, a member of London's Metropolitan Police Force threatened to arrest Christian street preachers who were accused by a bystander of making homophobic comments. I wonder who that bystander really was. The bizarre incident was captured on a nine-minute video in which the unnamed Christians protest their innocence. And it shows five police officers threatening to arrest the evangelists who were preaching outside a West London shopping centre after someone complained, well, as we say. One of the officers explained, if you're preaching here, it also depends on what you say. Has the police heard what they said? No. So the police is actually accusing him of thought crime, or rather they're threatening to arrest this person just in case in the future he might say something unpleasant or not to their taste at any rate, which is directly against everything that English common law is set up for. You might be committing a criminal of a criminal offences as well if you're making members of the public feel harassment, alarm or distress. It's a criminal offence, which is not true. It's not a criminal offence. And I'm pausing this here because I realised when editing the video that I hadn't clarified exactly what the non-offence was. And this is from Christian Concern. And here are some key facts. We have freedom in the UK to share our gospel with others. It is lawful to preach the gospel and hand out Christian literature on the streets to the general public without prior permission. The European Commission a Convention on Human Rights grants the right to freedom of religious belief and freedom of expression. We're still signed up to that, but even if we weren't, it's there already in British law. In common law, I might say, the police occasionally use the UK law, the Public Order Act 1986 and the Crime and Disorder Act 1998 to stop street preaching. But sometimes the police misuse their powers, leading to Christians being arrested and charged with criminal offences. These police are most certainly misusing their powers. You get a group of Muslims praying on the street there. How much enthusiasm do you think they'd be showing to misuse their powers? But I digress. Back to the rest of the show. And then they get very bullying. And I am ashamed to say that the worst bully of the lot is the female in the team. I'll play that just in case you're interested. Um, uh... You might be committing criminal offences as well. Yeah, for example, for example, any Yeah. If you if you make a if 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 you make if if you make a members of the public yeah. harassment, alarm, distress. Yeah. It's a criminal offence. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're, we're not really doing. That what we're doing is about preaching our religion. Okay, could you just tell me what you were saying? So we're saying Jesus is the only way, we'll call this, we're saying, he asked me what I've been preaching, so we'll be preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, right so can, I, can I just speak? No, I'm, I'm talking to you. Excuse me? You me with your name. We're all talking to him. Now he's talking to me. No, no, we'll so unless you want to be arrested, yeah. well, because you will be. No, 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 yeah. you provide me yeah. your name now. So I'll, I'll, I'll apply him my name. Sir, what's I'll apply my name. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Take any other thing thank other than his name. Thank you, thank you. To spend the night in the cell and we can do that. Right. OK, so you notice one of the police officers actually wandered off. I suspect he didn't want to be involved in this because he could see it wasn't right 
what he was doing or what his colleagues were doing and he just wanted to distance himself and this woman is threatening the uh, the street preacher with jail and you know and she's talking in an aggressive way uh, you know you can either do it my way or it's the uh, well the high not quite the highway the cell way yeah this is a team of bullies and again, a female p p uh, police officer. It's disgraceful and it's embarrassing. For m I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Uh, what else do uh, do we have to say? And they they mention that this comes shortly after. Here. An incident in which somebody was singing uh, songs, gospel songs, prayers, I, I don't know what. But a female police officer started uh, telling, well, she was a special constable of some sort, a volunteer. But she was telling this person that there is no legal right to sing church songs outside a church which of course is also nonsense so these police officers this this uh, this person here she does not know the law she's just making it up and the other uh, officer that i mentioned before the volunteer uh, she also doesn't know the law and was making up a crime that didn't exist now I don't know why these people are doing that. I really don't. I can't even begin to speculate. But it's it's truly awful. And it shows the terrible quality of the police now, except for this guy here. You see this fellow here. You just watch a minute. Watch him. You see how he's... That's real body language, isn't it? Just look how he's shielding his face uh, and averting his eyes. He really is ashamed of this. He knows it's wrong, but he's not stopping it either. Look, they have just here turned his back. He doesn't want to be involved in it. He should be embarrassed, but he's not embarrassed enough to stop this nonsense. And there are all these police here. And yet, when you get a bunch of Muslims all kneeling down, obstructing the road, uh, holding a, uh, an obstructive and obviously um, provoking prayer in, where are the police? If there are any, they're stopping other people from complaining about that. And these guys harassing what looks like just one person. All these, all these guys here. All of them, look at them, there's about five there, aren't there? Anyway, yeah, I, I do not understand this. I'm interrupting to remind you to click like and to subscribe and share. Also, I'm constantly being told that YouTube removes subscriptions. So please click the notification bell and check that you really are subscribed. All the links to my other channels are in the description, including links to donation sites. I'm always grateful, of course, for donations, but simply clicking like is the best thing you can do for this video and my channel generally. Thank you. But it's not something that can't be fixed. The trouble is nobody seems to want to fix it and the most important people to fix this would be the church people in the House of Lords raising questions about it. Absolutely silent about this. What is going on with the established church? All right, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. 
go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.